Mr. Mundy, will you keep him tied up at night? No one's complaining. But you. I have the strangest feeling that dog blames me for Frank's death. My name is Essex, Winston Essex. Welcome to Mansfield House. You know, even in the best establishments, there are sleepless nights. Last night, for instance, I thought I heard the sounds of dogs barking. Of course, that's impossible. There are no dogs at Mansfield House. So I must say, I, well, I have mixed feelings about that. After all, they are man's best friend. That's a funny thing, though. Nobody has ever said they were women's best friend touch of male chauvinism, perhaps. Or is it because they sense a rivalry for their master's affection, a, a rivalry that has no bounds, not in this world, nor in the world beyond? I don't suppose you can categorize the funeral as uh, good, but everything went so smoothly. I remember when father died. I thought it would take forever to put him in the ground. They seem like such nice people. Why did they let him keep carrying on like that? You should have sent Adam far away, far away. Sit, sit. I don't know what it is, but dogs scare me. They can be full of love, compassion, and loyalty, but somehow they send out the wrong vibes to me. My back goes up as soon as one comes near me. I guess you've noticed that. Well, you're not that way with Charlie. Well, Charlie's different. Yeah. Both years, his mother used to say, a jar. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. What a terrible day. What a terrible day. Oh, 
care yeah. of. Yeah. Good. I think I'll stay here, at least for tonight, okay? Thank you. Uh, smell that tobacco? Yes. Do you want me to throw it out? No. I don't. Did he ever have any heart trouble before? He never had any trouble. Before. Well, uh, I better get going. I have a few errands to do. Uh, I'll be back about 8 or 8.30, OK? You really don't have to. Well, that's OK. I want to. I'm your sister. I don't want you to be alone now. Yes. Well, what was he doing? I don't know. Carol, you've been crying. Have I? The dog or the funeral? Or both? I don't remember crying. Oh, you look all wrung out. Oh, but that part of it's good. You can't keep uh, all that emotion bent up inside of you. You have to let it out sometime. Have you had anything to eat? I wasn't hungry. How about I fix us some eggs? Okay.
Bye. Oh. Come on, Charlie. Back in the house. Come on. Nothing to worry about. I'll be back by dinner time. I'll be checking up on you during the day. And I'll meet you for lunch, okay? Thanks, Georgia. See you at 12. Okay. Want some apple? No, I've got raisins. And afterward, he sat there watching me. For a second, the sun hit his eyes and they flared up. I guess they were moist. Carol, sell the house. Want some raisins? No, sell the house. I can't, Georgia. Why? I told you, it's too soon. Well, at least put his things away. Give them away. The pipe, the pipe rack, all his clothes. It's not disrespectful. And it's the first step toward a brand new life. And the operative word there is life. I wonder how he got here. The dog. Adam. I've never seen him around here before. Carol, that's not Adam. Oh. I have the strangest feeling. That dog blames me for Frank's death. That's crazy, isn't it? But we gave him away and Frank died. 
I... I better get back. Shall I come over tonight? No, I'll be all right. Are you sure? Thanks. Good morning, Mrs. Mundy. Mrs. Finney. It's all right. You won't worry. Adam! Come on now, Adam. It's all right now. Um, uh, I've got to talk to you, you and your husband. It's uh, about Adam. Oh, well, it was sad you had to give him away, but we're glad to have him. If your husband's home, could we talk? Arthur, Mrs. Finney's here. Thank you. Arthur, Mrs. Finney wanted to talk to us. Uh, well, you know I'm your neighbor, and we've always been very friendly. So, um, as a friend, I'm uh, here to ask you, could you please keep uh, Adam tied up at night? Arthur? Oh, I'm sorry. Your husband smoked a pipe, didn't he? It's all right. 
About the dog. Your husband told me one or two things when he gave us the dog. He told me that you thought Adam was too big to be a playmate for your dog, Charlie. It was a, a clash in personalities. Animals have them, just like people, I guess. He also told me that you said you'd leave him if he didn't get rid of his dog. I'm sure if Frank ever said anything like that, he was joking. Mrs. Finney, I don't talk to people very much, so I don't clutter my mind. But when I do speak with someone, I remember what they said. <laughs> Adam. Mr. Mundy, will you keep him tied up at night? I'm not about to tie a dog. Isn't it better than letting him just run around terrorizing people? No one's complaining. But you. Are you saying no? I'm saying it would be a shame to break the spirit of a beautiful animal. Mr. Mundy, that dog feels that I'm responsible for my husband's death. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous. Yes, it does. I'm sorry I bothered you. Isn't that something? I gotta hand it to somebody. That's a terrific job. Yes, it is. Prehistoric times, modern times, it's all the same. Somebody's always getting it in the neck. Well, good night. Good night, Ralph. his mouth. There's poison in him. My God. You didn't have to do it.
she startled me. I'm sorry, Mrs. Finney. I didn't know anyone was in the building except me. Working late again, huh? Still. It's the price I pay for having one of my pet projects approved. And they want the presentation yesterday. Figures. Coffee? No, thanks. I've got a thermos in my lunch pail. Don't you work too hard. You too. Hello? Carol, Georgia. How's it going? Well, something happened. What, are you all right? It's the dog. Charlie? It's Adam, Georgia. He's dead. They took him away. They think somebody poisoned him. That's terrible. I'm so sorry, Carol. How could anybody do such a thing to poison a dog? Is there anything I can do? No, uh-uh. You sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, well, I'll see you soon then, all right? Bye, Georgia. Come on, Frank. He's scaring Charlie. Are you all right? Did you hear some barking just now? No, I glanced out and saw you standing here. Did you hear anything? No. Oh, thanks. It's just about my lunchtime. Want to share a sandwich? Oh, no, thank you. Okay.
Charlie. Charlie? Charlie? Bye. 
and called last night. Where were you? It's done. What's done? I killed him. You what? Adam. That beautiful animal. We should have kept him. He always did blame me. And then after Frank died, there was nothing to keep him from getting after me. You killed Adam? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Just where was it that you killed him? Out and back. I found him. I shot him. Carol, you told me Adam was poisoned. Mundy was playing some kind of trick on me. You didn't kill him. You can train a dog to lie limp across your arms. He was already dead. You don't know that. Yes, I do. How would you know that? Well, the other night I parked my car near the Mundys and I put the poison out like I always do. I could even hear the television going. Like you always do. Well, dogs terrify me. Adam terrified me. He terrified you, too. I did it for you. Last night, I saw him. I shot him. I did. No, thanks. Make yourself at home. I know you're upset. We'll talk and everything will be all right. Georgia, 
I've been doing some thinking. How did you really feel about Frank? I liked him very much. Well, then why did you suggest that I ask him to give his dog away? It was you who suggested it. For your own good. Adam terrified you, remember? Everything changed after that. Did you... Did you want it to change? Carol, you're imagining things. I don't want you here tonight. I don't want to see you or talk to you. Not now. Look, let's not argue. I want to help you and you won't let me. Your supper's in the kitchen. Take care and I'll check on you, okay? Right. Georgia?
You know, sometimes I wish I could bend the rules of Mansfield House just a little. One of my oldest friends asked if he could bring his dog on his next visit. I had to refuse him. After all, it wouldn't be fair to the rest of our guests to run the risk of interrupting the peace and quiet of their stay here. I suppose I feel just a little bit guilty, but that's a small price to pay for the comfort and well-being of our clientele, don't you agree? Oh, and now, here are some scenes from our next adventure on Ghost Story. Dear thing, what happened? He checked out. Want to know something, lady? You're weird. <laughs> 